Hi, this is Christopher Ming from EverythingCentral.com, and we're taking a quick look at the new Palm Central smartphone, which is uh, expected to come out next week from Sprint Wireless. Um, as you see here, you've got a, a quick start guide. You're going to get a, a thicker set of manuals. It's also going to come with Palm desktop software, and that is both for Mac and PC. If you are using Vista, you're going to have to download a beta version of Palm desktop. Uh, that's available on Palm's website, and it, it is a free download. Uh, as you can see here, it's got a removable battery, it's very thin, it's very lightweight, it's not going to add any bulk to the phone. And we're just going to put the phone aside and just take a look at what else we have here. Uh, you've got your standard um, multi-connector in terms of connecting to your computer so you can hot sync all your data and obviously a power charger. So without further ado, let's take a look at the new Centro. Uh, this is the smallest uh, smartphone ever from Palm. Uh, definitely has some similarities that you find in terms of the software. Uh, the software is virtually identical to uh, what you find on a 755p. But the big thing about this phone is obviously that Palm has finally made things smaller. Um, you can see here, you hold it in my palm, it's, it really is tremendously small. It's got a new keyboard on it. Um, they use something called sheet key technology, as you can see there. Um, it definitely gives you a tactile feel. The keys are a bit tight. Uh, if you're coming from a Trio smartphone, it might feel a little bit cramped at first. Um, typing is not that difficult on it. If you're coming from a traditional 12 key uh, telephone or, or wireless phone, um, this is going to be a great device for you. And just want to take a quick look and we'll compare this to um, the older generation Trio 700. As you can see here, it's just, it's much smaller. And it's a lot, it's a lot lighter as well. And this thing feels a lot heavier now. Now that I've got this on the end. And we're going to compare this to the. Um, this is the Moto Q, the Sprint Moto Q. And as you can see here, the Sprint Moto Q looks looks almost giant compared to it. Um, obviously, the Sprint is the, the Moto Q is going to be a little bit thinner. Um, but don't don't let the bulk fool you. This thing is really small. And let's see what other phones we have here. Okay, this is the Moto Q9H that has yet to be released, but we're expecting that to come out soon. And you can see, very similar to the Q in size, so compared to the Centro, it's going to be a much bigger phone. And, uh, ooh, what's this phone? I haven't seen one of these. What is this? This is the iPhone, and as you can see here, we're comparing it. Um, iPhone's going to be a little bit thinner. It's a little bit longer. Um, but much different phone, obviously different price points. The iPhone now at $399. Um, this new Centro is going to be priced at $99. Very entry level phone. Um, but it's going to offer a lot of different advantages. It's got full touch screen. And like I said, it comes with the uh, same software bundle that you can find on the 755P, which is going to give you documents to go. It's going to give you an integrated IM application. Um, I believe they're packaging Sudoku with it. So there's a number of really good things that come in this phone. Um, like I said, it's $99 with a two-year agreement. Things look really good on it right now. It's got micro SD and uh, the ringer switch here. And let's just take some close-ups before we wrap this up. And, and that's it. Um, we're going to have a full review of this in the, the next few days, so uh, definitely check back. And uh, thanks for joining us for the, uh, the first look at the Palm Central smartphone. EverythingCentral.com